In this video, I want to give you a bit of background by walking through the major milestones in the history of machine learning and artificial intelligence. The modern world of artificial intelligence really began in the 1950s, though it's based on mathematical and statistical developments over many centuries. Alan Turing is credited with helping to lay the foundation for the concept of a machine that can think. In his quest to define machine intelligence, he achieved a crucial milestone by creating the Turing test in 1950. In this test, an interrogator questions both a human and a computer and tries to determine which one is which. If the interrogator cannot tell the difference, then the computer can be considered intelligent. In 1956, the term artificial intelligence was coined with a small group of scientists gathered at Dartmouth College in the US for an event called the Summer Research Project on Artificial Intelligence. This conference was the birth of the field of research we know as AI. The years from 1956 to 1974 are known as the golden years of AI. Optimism ran high in the hope that AI could solve many problems. In 1967, Marvin Minsky, the co-founder of the MIT AI Lab, stated confidently and incorrectly that within a generation, the problem of creating artificial intelligence will substantially be solved. Natural language processing research flourished, search was refined and made more powerful, and the concept of micro-worlds was created, where simple tasks were completed using plain language instructions. Research was well-funded by government agencies, advances were made in computation and algorithms, and prototypes of intelligent machines were built. Some of these machines include Shaky the Robot, who could maneuver and decide how to perform tasks intelligently, Eliza, an early charter bot that could converse with people and act as a primitive therapist, Blocks World, an example of a micro world where blocks could be stacked and sorted and decision making experiments could be tested. By the mid 1970s, it had become apparent that the complexity of making intelligent machines had been understated and that its promise had been overblown. Compute power was too limited, there was a lack of data to train and test AIs, and there were questions around the ethics of introducing AI systems like the therapist Eliza into society. Funding dried up and confidence in the field slowed, marking the beginning of what is called an AI winter. In the 1980s, as computers became more powerful, expert systems became more successful. There was a resurgence in optimism about AI as businesses found practical applications of these rule-based inference systems. By the late 80s, it was becoming apparent that expert systems had become too specialized and were unlikely to achieve machine intelligence. The rise of personal computers also competed with these large specialized centralized systems. This led to another chill in the AI field. Things began to change in the mid-1990s as compute and storage capabilities grew exponentially, making it possible to process much larger data sets than ever before. The rise of the internet and the popularity of smartphones both contributed to increasing amounts of data, and new experiments in machine learning became possible. Throughout the 2000s, significant advancements were made in computer vision and natural language processing by training machine learning models on big data. In the past decade, compute power and the size of data sets have continued to grow, and machine learning has become capable of solving even more problems. As a result, today, machine learning touches almost every part of our lives. Sometimes we're well aware of it, like when we interact with ChatGPT in the browser or see a self-driving car go by. But most of the time, it's seamlessly woven into familiar experiences of our everyday life, such as when we're approved for a new loan or get a catalog at home. This era has also been marked by an increased awareness of potential ethical issues in machine learning and by significant research in the field of responsible AI. We want the benefits of AI, but we also want AI that is responsible and doesn't amplify human bias. In the next video, we will introduce techniques for building, using, and maintaining machine learning models. I'll see you there.